Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Bella Vista High School in Fair Oaks, California, for tonight's varsity basketball game between the Bella Vista Broncos and the Del Oro Golden Eagles. Glad to have you along, George Tharolson, with you with all the action tonight. We will be bringing you this varsity game between two teams that actually just saw each other on uh, uh, on Saturday night. The uh, Broncos and Del Oro playing in the West Park Tournament in the, uh, the uh, third place game on Saturday afternoon. Del Oro winning that one. It was actually a pretty uh, easy win for Del Oro. Uh, 79 to 34. We understand that the, uh, Bron that the Eagles are a much um, a more physical team and they have a lot more experience. They have a lot of seniors on their uh, team. A, a lot of that we are going to be talking about as we go along. Uh, Del Oro is three and one on the season. They lost in the second round of the uh, West Park tournament, as did the, uh, the the Broncos after winning in the opening round. In fact, the, the Broncos, a couple of wins last week, one on Tuesday against Miraloma, and then also in the opening round game of the West Park tournament. So the Broncos come into this game at two and four, and Del Oro is at three and one. Uh, we talked about Del Oro being experienced, very physical. Six of the 12 players on their roster are seniors. Uh, and, and of course, for Bella Vista, uh, during our last live stream, we, we talked about how they don't have a lot of uh, experience. They have seniors on their team as well, but not as much experience this year uh, 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 as compared to last year. They had uh, about two thirds of their team graduate last year, and now this year, uh, say for uh, Damian Rickett, most of the people that are seeing the action for the Bella Vista Broncos this year are uh, seeing action for the first time. Stepping in uh, for Del Oro to jump center is Alex Keim, and it'll be Zachary O'Neill, a, a, a battle of numbers 11 to jump center as we get things started. Damian Rickett is on the floor for uh, Bella Vista, along with Max Prucher, Mikey Simonian, and Mark Otrotsik to round out the starting lineup. We will get you the uh, Del Oro uh, starters momentarily. The person to look for for Del Oro is number 12, Caden Pickett, 16.7 points per game, and he was also the quarterback on the football team, threw for nearly 3,000 yards this past football season. So uh, a couple of uh, notes uh, about uh, players. Uh, of course, Caden Pickett we talked about for Del Oro. Damian Rickett was a star player for the Bella Vista football team. Uh, as well. So let's get this started. And Del Oro will control the opening tip. Pinnick is running the point. This is Williams underneath, immediately takes it to the rack and puts that one up and in. Uh, Del Oro draws first blood, not even 15 seconds into the game. This is a Trotzik. Here's Damian Rickett. Rickett is closed off, but he gets around the man, powers to the rack and cannot get that one to fall. A rebound for O'Neal underneath Rickett. His shot doesn't go, and the rebound is controlled by Del Oro. This is, there's a nice no-look pass as they tried to get it into Kime. He tried to save it out of bounds. Pinnock was the one that tried to uh, get it to him, but uh, turnover for Del Oro. So uh, still, the, just the two nothing lead in favor of the Golden Eagles and Bella Vista in possession. Del Oro opening in a 2-3 zone. Rickett works off the screen. This is O'Neal. O'Neal closed off. There's a Trotzig. They're just trying to solve that zone defense. Rickett working off a screen from the free throw line. Follows the shot, gets it off, dishes it underneath. Nice pass by Damian Rickett, and Max Prucher gets the deuce. Tie ball game. Here's Pinnock driving in, and he's sent to the floor. Get a foul called the first foul of the game. That goes on Mikey Simonian. Hayden Pinnock will go to the free throw line. So the first team foul, remember, five team fouls in a quarter is the bonus, and the bonus is two shots. There's no more one and one. Pinnick makes his first free throw. Yeah, 
and the second as well. Nine, uh, Caden Pinnock had 19 points in the game against Bella Vista on Saturday. Petrocic, he's double teamed out of the zone and he is pushed and sent out of bounds. So this will be the first foul on Del Loro. And they will call this on Caden Pinnock. First team foul on Del Oro. Bella Vista to the side. Max Prucher will inbound. They don't guard him. Atrocic comes out to get the pass. Here's Simonian. Simonian, last time we saw him, scored 40 points in one game. That was the loss to Vista Del Lago. Rickett. And gets the friendly roll. Damian Rickett, his first two points of the game. Had 19 in his debut last Tuesday night against Miraloma. Three-pointer on the way for Del Oro. Pinnock controls the long rebound. The Golden Eagles will reset the offense. Man-to-man -man defense for Bella Vista. Another offensive opportunity for Del Oro. A couple of offensive rebounds. That was a problem on Saturday night for Bella Vista. They were significantly out-rebounded by the, uh, the Golden Eagles in that game last Saturday afternoon. This is Hawkins, the freshman. Gets his first two points of the game. Brendan Hawkins averaging 10 and a half points per game. He was in eighth grade last year. Simonian has the ball deflected away and they say it goes off of his leg and out of bounds. Simonian tried to sell a foul but uh, the officials don't agree. Five and a half to go. Opening quarter, it is 6-4 in favor of Del Oro. Here's Pinnock. Works off a screen from Williams. Now he'll drive into the lane. Another offensive rebound. That's Williams, and he powers it back for his second two points of the game. Reed Breer is the one that had the shot that led to the Williams rebound and put back. Four-point lead for Del Oro. Rickett, here's a Trotzik, he's open for three, got it. Marka Trotzik, first three pointer of the game. Here's Breer, Breer closed off. Pinnock, bounce pass to Breer to the, to the rack, takes that one up over Rickett and puts it in. Reed Breer is averaging almost 12 points per game for Del Oro. And he had 12 points against Bella Vista on Saturday. Rickett. Hounded up top by Kine. Rickett, he'll find O'Neal. O'Neal has his shot blocked. Breer controls. Here's Hawkins. Now it's Pinnock. Alex Keim drives in, little too hard, is put back, and another put back. Two offensive rebounds right there by Alex Keim, and he puts that one up and in. Looks like we're gonna get a timeout. It'll be a short timeout called by Bella Vista, and I can't say as we blame him right now. Uh, this is one of the things that Coach Dave Gonzalez mentioned uh, in our pregame chat today, and, and that is that uh, uh, rebounding is going to be a key for Bella Vista. It was a problem on Saturday night, and it is uh, starting to be a problem as well. Second and third chance opportunities uh, have led to the la at least the last two baskets by uh, Del Oro, and they have the five-point lead after Bella Vista had rolled, rolled it back into within one. After Trotzik hit that three-point shot, it was eight to seven, and then uh, a couple of second chance, third chance baskets by uh, Del Oro. So play back underway, under four minutes to go, opening quarter. This is a Trotzik. Now Rickett in the corner. Rickett's looking to drive the baseline all the way underneath, and he steps on the baseline. It's a turnover for Bella Vista. Again, these are the things that uh, Coach Gonzalez uh, says they cannot afford to have happened, can't be turning the ball over. Last two possessions have ended in turnovers. Breer for three. And that's his first trifecta of the game. Eight point lead for Del Oro. This is 
Lawrence O'Neill, cross court to Prucher. He'll launch a three. Oh, tried to get it off the backboard, and it doesn't go for him. Prucher had 20 points a week ago. Nice pass underneath, and an easy basket for Breer. Actually, I, I, I guess easy's not the right word. Well contested, but he muscled that in and drew the foul. The foul will be on Zachary O'Neill. That'll be his first. Second team foul on Bella Vista. And Breer to the line for the and one. That one's too hard. Otrocic controls the rebound. Here's Simonian. Simonian on the drive all the way in. Oh, just a little bit off on the shot. Here's Williams back the other way. He's going to try to go coast to coast. And the Broncos control. Rickett into front court. He'll launch a three. Got it. Damian Rickett enters the trifecta land tonight. 2.45 to go. And then an easy pass underneath to Cole Kelly just into the game, a 6'3 senior. He's wide open on the baseline for a deuce there. Nine-point lead for Del Oro. Atrocic, he finds Rickett. Preacher back to Rickett, way out in front. Again, there's a 35-second shot clock. Matrozic working off the pick from Marcus Merch. He'll launch a three. That one's long. And Merch tries to save it from going out of bounds. Didn't want to didn't give it up. Uh, looked like it, they were initially going to try and let it go out of bounds. But then they didn't want Deloro to come up with it. And so Merch tried to control. And it's off his hands and out of bounds. Mason Soraka is into the game now, and he tries a pass underneath, looking underneath for Breer, and that one's a little too tall for the 6'6 Breer. If he was maybe 6'9, maybe that one doesn't go out of bounds. So Bella Vista hoping to take advantage of the turnover. Merch underneath tries to get it to Riley Dick right through his hands. And another Bella Vista turnover. Minute 46 to go in the opening quarter. Pinnock working off the pick. He'll drive all the way to the lane. He'll draw the foul and get two free throws out of all of that. Foul's going to be on Marcus Merch. That'll be his first. Third team foul on Bella Vista with 1.35 to go. Pinnick made his first two free throws earlier. That is his first miss. And he gets the second. Three points on the night for, Cole, uh, for uh, Caden Pinnock, 20 to 10. The Dar Oro lead is up to 10. Merch tries the pass, has it taken away. Pinnock all the way in. Merch crashes into Pinnock. They both wind up on the floor. Merch is successful in preventing the shot from falling. Very hard foul. We'll see what they uh, what they say, but Pinnock is headed back to the free throw line. Damian Rickett going over and talking to Merch, doing a little on-court coaching. So that's the second on Merch. And the fourth team foul on Bella Vista. So 123 to go. Any further fouls are going to be an automatic two shots for the rest of the quarter. Pinnick now with four points tonight. And second free throw, he'll look for his fifth. And he's got it. So two for Caden Pinnock. 22 to 10 is our score. Bella Vista needs to, needs to find the basket right here. Ball is 
deflected. It looks like there was a collision that sent Rickett to the ground, but they don't call it. Instead, simultaneous possession, what they used to call a jump ball. The possession arrow will favor Bella Vista. Actually, they still call that a jump ball, even though they haven't jumped in those circumstances in high school basketball in some 40 years. In, in my old radio broadcast career, I used to complain about it. I'm going to complain about it now, too. I hate the alternating possession rule. Let them jump it. Here's Rickett near midcourt, and he's going to be fouled by Cole Kelly, who will draw his first foul of the game. And that'll be the second team foul on Del Oro. Trotzik in backcourt, he'll run the point right now for Bella Vista. Rickett is out there to help. He splits the double team. Rickett, fade away, can't find it. A tip by Merch goes in. First points of the game for Marcus Merch. Lead back down to 12, 10. And it's number 12, Caden Pinnock with the ball. Works off the screen. Pulls up over a Trotzik, flat looking shot. Ball deflected around, controlled by Damian Rickett. Here's Simonian. Simonian, 28 points on Friday night in the West Park Tournament. And of course, when we were here last, we shortchanged him one point. He had 40 against Vista Del Lago the day after Thanksgiving. Here's Simonian driving in up with the one-hander. He draws the foul. That's something Bella Vista has not been doing much of tonight and maybe if they, they could possibly do a, a little bit more of that and get to the free throw line here. Mikey Simonian will go to the line. It teased him a lot but he gets the friendly roll finally. Bella Vista switching up who they want on the free throw lane. It's Riley Dick and it's uh, Marka Trotzik, Simonian will take his second shot. And the second one for Mikey Simonian. Seven seconds to go, eight point game. Three pointer, back iron. Kime controls it, back for a shot at the buzzer, it's good. No, they wave it off. They wave off the shot that was taken by Carter Erickson just in the game. Del Oro will begin the second quarter of play with the ball, but uh, Bella Vista did well near the end of the quarter to get back into uh, under uh, um, uh, double digits. So they have a uh, an eight point lead heading into, or the, Bella Vista's down by eight, heading into the, uh, the second quarter. Reed Breer is leading the way points-wise for Del Oro. For Bella Vista, it's Damian Rickett. Breer has uh, seven points. Rickett has uh, five. And the uh, Golden Eagles will um, begin play here in the second half with possession of the ball. Second quarter. So here's Breer on Rickett. Whistle. Okay, so it looks like we had a shot clock issue. Apparently they're happy with 31 seconds. And Del Oro will run their offense right now. Pin it out at the midcourt circle. Closed off, he'll bring it back out. Inside to Williams, he gets by Merch and puts it up and in. That's six points in the game for uh, Jake Williams. seven rebounds against Bella Vista on Saturday. And he's one of their top rebounders, as a matter of fact. 
25 rebounds coming into this game. We get a uh, foul called. I think it was Reed Breer that gets called for that one. First team foul in the second quarter. Merch at the high post, dumps it up to a cutting. Damian Rickett, who is now up to seven points, credit the assist to Marcus Merch. Nice pass, eight point game. Pinnock for three, nothing. Bella Vista ball. And the Bella Vista fans, a few of them at least, are serenading Caden Pickett, the leading scorer on this team, with the air ball chant. Merch at the free throw line. Atrocic, he's open, three pointer, got it! Mark Atrocic, that's a huge three for Bella Vista. Lead is five. Here's Pinnock to the free throw line. This is time for three, that one's gonna rattle out. Fight for the rebound. And they're going to give it to Del Oro. Pinnock will inbound. We talked about Pinnock. He quarterbacked the football team, as we mentioned at the top, nearly 3,000 yards passing this year. Reed Breer wide open on the baseline. Puts that one up and in. He's got nine. Pinnock just knows how to find the open man, whether it's on the basketball court or the football field. Atrocic falls to the ground, Pinnock with the steal. Here's Kime, all the way in on Rickon with a slam dunk. Alex Kime brings the Del Oro fans. Volume up and back the other way, Marcus Merch puts one in. He's got four points on the night. Six twenty to go, we've got a timeout called. And uh, it's like the timeout, they're pointing to Bella Vista, so the timeout was called right after Merch got the basket. Merch got the pass and he was open underneath and he was able to lay that one in after a pass from backcourt. So a, a nice look to Merch and Merch is able to find the, uh, find the hoop. It is uh, a seven point lead. You know, we talk about Rickett and Caden Pinnock both uh, having played for their respective football teams. And our score is 28-21, which is more of a football score than a basketball score. So I guess we should say that Del Oro leads by a touchdown. So Bella Vista will set up the defense in front court for, in uh, the Del Oro front court. He's got a buzzer going off here in the midst of the in the midst of the play. Let's see, I'm gonna see what they have here. So they come up to converse. Can't really pick up what's going on down there. So they're gonna, Carter Erickson was in, he's coming out. And Brendan Hawkins is back in for the Golden Eagles. So they're back to their starters. Approaching the six minute mark. Here's Breer for three, swish. Breer now up to 12 points on the night. 10 point lead, here's Rickett. Rickett fades back. Williams the rebound. No look pass from Pinnock back to Williams. His scoop shot no good. Merch the rebound for Bella Vista. Trotzik, here's Merch out front. Pass is tipped and controlled by Kime. Long pass out to Pinnock. He's on Merch. He finds an open. Williams cutting to the basket and Williams puts another one in. He's got eight. Lead is up back up to 12. Here's Simonian, that's a three attempt. And Breer controls the rebound. Breer at the top, wide open. That's another one. 
Reed Greer, 15 points for Del Oro. And he's the difference in the game. Del Oro by 15. Take away all his points, it's a tie game. Here's Riley Dick, he'll drive to the basket. He has the shot blocked by the aforementioned Reed Greer. Couple of substitutions now. Trotzik will come out along with Marcus Merch. Kruchers back in. Jonah Wooden is back in. He's uh, coming off of uh, an injury, an, an ankle injury that kept him out of the game on Friday. Or actually, I think he suffered it on Friday and missed the game on Saturday. But they, uh, but he's back in right now. Wooden closed off, the, launches the shot at the at the buzzer, and they're going to call that, uh, I guess they're going to say that didn't hit the rim. So it's a shot clock violation. And Deloro, with a 15-point lead, has possession once again. This is the only game for the Broncos this week. They played four last week, and they're going to have three consecutive games next week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Here's Williams underneath, and they're going to call him for a travel. So there's another break for Bella Vista as they force the turnover. And, and I, I, I mentioned break. It is a break for Bella Vista, but it's not the, when we usually use that term, it's like they get away with something. They forced that. They created the break that time. Jonah Wooden for three. Kruger deflects it off of Caden Pickett on the baseline. And so Bella Vista will retain possession with under four minutes to go. Five count is on, they gotta hurry up. Kruger at the top and Caden Pinnock picks his pocket. Pinnock drives all the way in, e easy layup. And now everybody, your assignment is home is to say Pinnock picks his pocket 10 times fast. Here's Rickett, he splits a double team all the way in, doesn't get the roll, but he does draw the foul. So it's a 17 point lead now for Del Oro. Rickett will go to the line. Rickett will try and answer that miss with a make here. Oh, and he missed both of them. So Deloro in possession with the 17 point lead. Well, this is what happened to uh, Bella Vista when we had them on the day after Thanksgiving. There's a nice steal. And they came roaring back in the third quarter. Maybe we'll see that again tonight. Here's Simonian. Simonian, great 360 move into the lane. Doesn't get the shot. Here's Pinnock back the other way. Rickett the rebound. Simonian closed off. They'll set the offense. Wooden. Wooden has it deflected away. Deloro controls. Pinnock in on Prucher. Prucher commits the foul to prevent the basket, and Pinnock will go to the free throw line. So two shots for Caden Pinnock. Pinnock, we talked about, is 16.7 uh, point per game. 82% free throw shooter this year. And came into this game with 22 rebounds. Gets both free throws. He's up to eight points on the night. Last year he averaged 19 points per game as a, uh, a junior. Atrocic. Loose ball. 
There's a fight for it. it looks like Del Oro called the timeout to preserve the possession. So it looks like it's a, uh, are we calling this a? Okay, so it's, it's a 30 second timeout. That's what, the, that's what that language means. If you see that, what the referee, when he makes the signal, they tell us who called the timeout and whether it's a 30 or a full. You get five timeouts per game. Two of them are 30. The other three are full timeouts. If we had commercial breaks, that would be a bigger deal. 19 point lead for Del Oro and they will keep possession of the ball after calling timeout following control of the loose ball. Luke Gaylor is into the game for his first action. Here's Pinnock underneath and he hits double digits. 10 points for Caden Pinnock. We're approaching two minutes to go in the half. 21 point lead. In fact, uh, Del Oro has doubled the score on Bella Vista. Here's Wooden. Tries to use the glass. Loose ball on the rebound. The putback for uh, Prucher does not go, but he draws the foul. Looks like Luke Gaylor is going to get that foul. A little two on number two on number two crime, if you will. Prucher, now with three points tonight. Hoping to get this down to less than 20, but that one doesn't go. There's a fight for the rebound. They're gonna call the held ball. And that's gonna go to Bella Vista on the uh, possession arrow. Protzik to inbound. Here's Simonian. Atrocic is open for a three. Nice takeaway by Prucher. His shot doesn't go. And here's Hawkins back the other way. The 6-1 freshman. They're going to get a whistle. It looks like they're going to call the foul on the freshman. Give, uh, give Atrocic a... Uh, well, I'd say like, we can give him an Academy Award there for uh, uh, for helping to make that uh, that foul. But you know what? If you can sell it, you sell it. Here's Damian Rickett. Here's a Trotzik. Simonian. Crossover dribble, that one's way off. Prucher the rebound. That one a little too hard off the glass as well. Bella Vista's getting some of those underneath looks. They're just not falling for him tonight. Williams back into the game. Spin move, turn around. Halfway down it comes out. Rick at the rebound. Under a minute to go here in the first half. Rick at, that's from NBA range. Prucher has his shot knocked out of bounds. That's another block. That one by Gaylor, the 6'5 sophomore. And that will lead to a possession for Bella Vista with 48 seconds to go. And the shot clock at 41. Here's a three point shot. Got it. Jonah Wooden on the board for his first points of the game. Bella Vista got the lead down to 17. Williams for three. Hawkins skies in to get the rebound. The long rebound came out. Del Oro can play for one shot and it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Shot clock is off. Pinnock, oh maybe they don't. That's Erickson's shot is missed. 
Rebound and a putback is gonna roll in and drop for Cole Kelly. As we hit the end of the half, here's a long shot at halftime and that one's a little too far. We have come to the end of the first half of play. The Bella Vista Broncos trailing by 20. It's 44 to 24 here at halftime. We're gonna take a little bit of a, a break for right now uh, and we'll come back in a, in a few moments and get you ready for the second half of play. We will keep the stream on so you'll see what's going on here on the floor here at halftime and then we will be back uh, for the second half in just a few minutes. 20 point lead for, well, actually make it a 19 point lead. It looks like they're correcting the score here. Uh, oh, we got a, oh, we got some free throws here. There was a foul just at the end of the first half, so I apologize for not catching that. So it was 44-25, and Mikey Simonian has just put two shots in. And so that is our, oh, a three. He was, oh, he was fouled on the three-point shot. That's what it was. I was already into halftime mode. I saw him put up the shot. I didn't hear him call the foul. I didn't hear him blow the whistle on the foul. So anyway, so he gets three free throws there. Uh, and that will bring us to uh, a 44-27 lead for the... Um, Golden Eagles of Del Oro. 44-27, it's a 17-point uh, lead for the Golden Eagles. We are moments away from starting the second half of action here at Bella Vista High School. It is a 17-point lead for Del Oro. And, and some final moment, final uh, Warm-ups going on right now before we begin the, the first or the second half of play. Uh, just taking a look at some of our first half numbers here. Reed Breer leads the way for the uh, Golden Eagles with 15 points. Uh, Caden Pinnock has 10 of his own as well. Leading the way for the Broncos, Damian Rickett. He is at seven points. Mikey Simonian at five. Uh, Marco Trotzik, I should uh, toss him in there as well. He's got six points as well. Some of the other numbers to, to look at, uh, Del Oro as a team, 18 of 33, 54.5% from the floor. Bella Vista, 8 of 22, 36% from the floor. And that kind of uh, tells a bit of the story here along with the uh, offensive rebounding issues and the, the second half, uh, um, the second half, uh, um, or the, the, the first half um, issues. The second, the second chance points is what I meant. Sorry, my my brain wandered for a second. So <laughs> that uh, that's been known to happen more often than I would like to admit. So anyway, let's get started here in the third quarter of play. We are underway with Del Oro in possession. This is the freshman Hawkins. That's Breer. Breer has been deadly tonight with his 15 points. His entry pass into Williams. Williams draws the foul. And this is going to be on Damian Rickett. First on Rickett. Non-shooting foul. And Pinnock is open for a three. Bella Vista controls. This is Simonian. Simonian closed off by Pinnock. This is a Trotzik to the baseline right through the legs of O'Neal. We're gonna get a whistle and a foul called on Hawkins. That's his second. That's what I have him for. So two, two on Hawkins, yes. A Trotzik way out front. Simonian finds an opening down the lane, draws the foul. Can't get the shot to fall. So that's gonna be on Breer, that's his second. Just double checking my uh, foul, Reed Breer. I have him for two. Simonian now up to six points. Yeah. 
And we can make that seven. The lead is 25. That is a nice pass into Williams from Caden Pinnock. Williams now reaches double digits. Lead is back to 27. And Bella Vista loses possession. No look pass by Pinnock. My gosh, how did he get that one there? Alex Kime with the deuce. That's a Houdini pass. A Trotzik. Here's Prucher at the top. Hounded by Pinnock. O'Neill is open. And Simonian controls. He finds an opening on the baseline. He finds Prucher for the deuce. Mikey Simonian with the assist. Max Prucher with the deuce. Now Reed Breer back the other way. Ball deflected, controlled by Bella Vista. Here's Prucher once again. Around Williams, tries a reverse layup, doesn't go. Underhanded pass, but that's taken away by O'Neill. And taken back by Pinnock. On a switch, Pinnock is picked up by Rickett. Greer underneath, Greer on O'Neill. Turnaround jumper, gets the roll, and draws the foul. So the foul will be on Zachary O'Neill. That's his second. Greer will go to the line. Bella Vista controls the rebound. Nineteen point game and a steal by Pinnock. And Pinnock gets the deuce and he gets the free throw coming as well. Okay, so we've got a foul called on Marcus Merch, which I think is his third. And then Caden Pinnock is going to be called for a technical foul. Jeff Broyles is off the bench uh, talking with the referee. I don't think he's in, a, in any kind of agreement as to what happened here. So Pinnock will go to the line. He was fouled after making the basket. And so he gets one free throw here for the three-point opportunity. And he gets it. And now the technical uh, shots for Mikey Simonian following the technical foul on Caden Pinnock. Simonian will get the next deuce. It had to have been something maybe that Pinnock said after he was fouled. So Simonian two free throws. Bella Vista gets possession of the ball. And some new players are in. Max Morris seeing his first action tonight. And we mentioned that Marcus Merch was just into the game. Here's uh, Trotzik for three. He's got nine points on the night now. Lead back down to 17. Hawkins pulls up. Rickett trying to get that rebound. They're playing volleyball out there, but finally controlled by Marcus Merch. Morris. A Trotzik again for three. Merch tried to get that one, but Williams controls. New into the game, Shane Smith. 
seeing his first action tonight. Here's Williams through two players. Morris taps it over to Murch and Bella Vista controls. Chance to cut the lead to 15. Rickett, Murch, Morris, Morris to the baseline, cut off. Here's Simonian. Simonian now up to 11 points. It is a 15 point game. Hawkins, are they gonna, they're gonna call him, they're gonna call an offensive foul. They're actually gonna call that on Reed Breer. That's his third. Four minutes, 20 seconds to go and the Broncos have a chance to cut the lead further. Now it's gonna be an offensive foul on Bella Vista. It looks like they're gonna say that uh, Simonian led with a, an arm bar maybe. So possession back to Del Oro. Can Bella Vista mount another third quarter run like they did against Vista Del Lago. Williams on a Trotzik. Step around move. Merch flies in to try and get the rebound. He is all over the place tonight. And that goes off of Merch and out of bounds. So Del Oro controls. Here's Williams, double teamed. Tries to step around, throws that one up. Flat looking shot, but he gets the friendly roll. 12 points for Williams. Simonian pulls up from about 18, gets the shot, and he's going to get a free throw. That's four on Breer. At least according to my numbers, that's four on Breer. Looks like they're going to keep him out there. Free throws continuing to be an issue for Bella Vista. There's Williams inside on Merch once again. Step around move, puts it in and draws the foul on Mark. No, they're going to call an offensive foul. Or traveling, I'm sorry. One way or the other, it's a turnover by Del Oro and no basket. 15 point game. Whistle. Oh, if that's on Breer, he's done. So I've got, I've got Reed Breer for five fouls but they're not having him leave the game yet. Scorer's table is not calling him as, uh, as five. He is, okay, because they have taken him out of the game. They've substituted. Normally they, would, they wouldn't let the free throw happen if it's a foul out situation. Two free throws for Simonian. The lead is 13. Williams. There's Erickson. Carter Erickson with his first points of the game. He averages eight per contest this year in the four games that Del Oro has played to this point. Here's Morris. Trotzik, Rickett, Rickett lost it, gets it back, he'll kick it over into the corner, Simonian, six seconds on the shot clock, Simonian, step around, move, Merch is there with the rebound and the follow, just as time was expiring on the shot clock. 
13 point game. Williams the three pointer, that's no good. Atrocic. Here's Rickett. Rickett all the way to the baseline, the runner is good. Damian Rickett brings Bella Vista within 11. Bella Vista now in the 2-3 zone. That was uh, instrumental in their comeback run against Vista Del Lago about a week and a half ago. Here's Pinnock. Out, no good. Rick at the rebound. Bella Vista could get this under double digits. 1.48 to go, third quarter. Rickett gets the pass underneath. He collides with Cole Kelly, who I believe is going to get called for a foul. So Kel Cole Kelly called for the foul. Rickett will go to the line. Looks like he's had, got a little bit of an issue bending over and pointing to his eyes. Hopefully he's okay here as he steps to the free throw line. The lead is 10. And Damian Rickett has 10 points. He is now up to 11. Rickett averaged about 13 points per game last year. Here's Kelly dry, driving in, he draws the foul. A week ago, Rickett made his season debut for Bella Vista after missing the uh, opener against Vista Del Lago, uh, the home opener, and then the road opener uh, against Casa Roble. Scored 19 points last week at Miraloma. Here's Kelly's free throw. And he has his fifth point of the game. 134 to go. And there's Kelly's next shot. 57-48, nine point lead. From the Broncos, Atrocic, he's open for another three. That one's too long. Cole Pinnock drives all the way on the other end. He's up to 15 for tonight. Rickett double teamed, tries to step around move, looping runner, no good. Battle for the rebound, and that's controlled by Gaylor. 13-point lead. 45 seconds to go before the end of the third quarter. Here's Pinnock driving in again, and he gets another roll. Caden Pinnock at 17. Broncos got this one. Appeared to within seven, then it got back up to nine. Now it's 15. Rickett. 20 seconds to go. Atrocic again, another three pointer. No good. They're going to give that one to Bella Vista. Atrocic will inbounds. 14 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Bella Vista can play for the final shot if they wish. Rickett. He's open for a three. That one's short. Wide open, Atrocic underneath. Nobody anywhere near Mark Atrocic. And he's able to put that one back up and in. Clock is at two seconds to go. Shot by Pinnock. No, but flying in and putting it in at the buzzer is Luke Gaylor. Oh, mercy. Way to follow the shot there. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter with the... Del Oro Golden Eagles holding a 65-50 lead. So Bella Vista got this one from 27 down to 15. So again, they outscore their opponents and try to mount a comeback in the third quarter just like they did against Vista Del Lago in their home opener. They're gonna try and build this one again. Now we've got a whistle and play has stopped. 
Apparently, again, maybe there was an issue with the shot clock, but they're good with it. So Trotsik will take it in backcourt. There's Max Morris who launches a three. And that one looked like it was about halfway down before it came out. Del Oro taking their time. Pinnock off the Gaylor pick. Now he's looking to drive. He'll pull up at the top of the key. Underneath, finds Williams. Underneath, that one's too hard. Gets his own rebound. Underneath the basket, tries to muscle it up over Merch. He can't. Damian Rick at the rebound, and he tries to work his way through defenders, and a foul is called. So it's a non-shooting foul. It's the fourth team foul, or check that, the first team foul in the fourth quarter. So Bella Vista inbounding. Here's Rickett. Lead is 15. Turnover. Caden Pinnock. Well, they all count if they go through. It wasn't pretty for Caden Pinnock, but he's up to 19 points. Here's Rickett, long three-pointer. And that's gonna go out of bounds and over to Bella Vista. So we mentioned Bella Vista was in the um, West Park tournament and their opening game was against Washington High School of Fremont. And Washington High School's nickname is the Huskies. So Bella Vista had a win last week over the Washington Huskies. And that's of note to me because I grew up in the shadows of Husky Stadium in Seattle. And there's that other Husky team that we've been hearing a lot about lately. Here's Pinnock driving to the lane. He puts that one up and in. 19 point lead now. Here's Merch. Merch tries. He slipped, lost his balance, and he tossed it off the backboard. And then a foul called. Is that five on Marcus? That's five on Marcus. And so Zach O'Neill, Zachary O'Neill will come back in. It's back to a 19 point lead for Del Oro. That win over Washington High School for Bella Vista last week, 75 to 71. That was in the first round of the West Park Tournament. They then lost to the host school, West Park, before losing in the third place game to, to uh, Del Oro. O'Neill controls the rebound for the Broncos. Here's Damian Rickett, double team, tries to split through the double team, winds up on the ground, and a held ball with the possession arrow favoring Del Oro. Bella Vista's next game will be one week from tonight here at Bella Vista, the first of three games and three nights for the Broncos, two of which will be at home. They will be playing Del Campo. A little battle of Fair Oaks next Tuesday. And we will be here for that. They'll also be home next Wednesday, so they have back-to-back uh, -back home games. On the 12th and 13th, we will be here for both. Drawing the foul was Alex Keim. And that's gonna be on Max Morris. That is his first personal foul. Talk a lot about Damian Rickett being on the basketball team. Oh, I'm sorry, on the football team as well as the basketball team for Bella Vista. Max Morris, who has just called for that foul, is a lacrosse player in the spring. So we will look forward to seeing Max and uh, Mateo Polanco and all the others. Nick Tharlson, when the lacrosse team takes the field at Bella Vista High School Stadium in the spring, and we will have those live streams as well. So no free throw there. It remains a 19 point lead.
Cricket. Can't get the shot to go. Villavis is not able to find any shots. That's a beautiful pass to a cutting Brendan Hawkins for a deuce, and the lead is back over 20. Bella Vista having a little trouble controlling. Here's Simonian, and there's a teardrop runner for Mikey Simonian. 17 points on the night. There's Breer, air ball. <laughs> Here come the Broncos. Simonian pulls up, that one's a little short. The tip does not go, and Pinnock controls the rebound. Interesting uh, question. We thought we had Reed Breer for five fouls. He is back in the game. Clearly, he does not have five fouls. We must have uh, uh, given a foul to uh, that was should have gone to someone else. I would I would presume that he is at four fouls. So we'll see what happens as that goes. 71-52 is our score. The lead is 19. We've got a timeout call. And, and uh, the Broncos here in the fourth quarter, they've had, again, they've had some really good looks and the shots have not fallen. They've had the opportunity to cut the lead. And we mentioned that they got it, I believe they got it all the way down to seven before a couple of uh, Deloro free throws kicked it back to nine. And the next thing we know, we're blinking our eyes and it's 15 and now it's back up to uh, 19. Hawkins outside. This is Kime. Back to Hawkins. Hawkins, the freshman. Gives it up, he gets it back, he's open for a three. That's the first three-pointer of the game for Brendan Hawkins. The lead is now 22. Wooden, back into the game for Bella Vista. Here's a Trotzik. Uh, telegraph that pass. And it was read beautifully by Hawkins, who then tries to get a little snazzy there with a behind-the-back pass, and he turns it right back over to Bella Vista. Three forty to go. Greer controls the rebound. Williams, and he draws a two-shot foul. That's going to be on Zachary O'Neill, his third. And Williams hits the first free throw. Jake Williams is up to 13 points for tonight. And he gets the second one as well. So the lead is back to 24. So another third quarter effort by Bella Vista to try and get into the game, but uh, Del Oro has just been really tough all night for the Broncos. Bella Vista keeps possession here. There's Zachary O'Neill, and he's open and gets an easy basket there. His first points of the game. Lead is 22. Here's Gaylor. Greer, Greer double team, triple team. Loose ball, controlled by the Broncos. Here's Simonian. Simonian all the way in with a nice layup under the basket. Mikey Simonian at 19. Lead is 20. Pinnock is taking his time now. There's Hawkins. Aiden Pinnock. They're giving him uh, they're giving him some room. Now he draws the free throw line. Thought about taking the three. Here's Hawkins at the free throw line. 
Greer, or rather Gaylor the rebound. Possession arrow is going to favor Bella Vista, I believe, right? Wholesale substitutions for Del Oro. As the starters will all come out with a 20 point lead and 2.16 to go, they're going to let the reserves see this one out, it looks like. Simonian. Rickett underneath. Muscles up a shot, he draws the foul. That's going to be on Mason Soraka. Rickett at 12 points tonight. Make it 13. This is Shane Smith. And now Soraka. Erickson out front. He's picked up by Simonian. This is Cole Kelly back in, among those back into the game. And they call him for a travel. So Bella Vista will get a chance to uh, cut this lead further. It is at 18. Minute 40 to go. They get a foul called. Looks like Sorak is going to get called for another one. And this is a non-shooting foul, so Bella Vista will take possession. Wooden to inbound. Here's Rickett. Rickett steps around and gets the deuce. Damian Rickett at 15. Gaylor. This is Smith. Sorotka at the free throw line. He finds Smith at the baseline. Smith drives in. And we're going to get a foul called. Smith winds up on the ground. And that is Mark Atrotzik. So Shane Smith to the free throw line. I believe that is his first point of the season. One of two for Shane Smith. 17 point lead. Simonian is open for a three. They're gonna give that to Bella Vista. Simonian once again, he'll take it to the baseline. Fade away is a little short. Wooden in there on the rebound. Immediately double and triple teamed. It looks like, are they gonna get a foul called first? No, a five. No, it's a turnover by Bella Vista. Here's Soratka out front. Broncos control the loose ball. 36 seconds to go. There's Wooden for three, that one doesn't go. Sorotka controls, we're under 30 seconds to go, and the shot clock is off. Broncos still matching up on the defense, but it looks like Del Oro is fine to just let this one, let this one expire. Yeah, they're just going to keep passing it around. Seven seconds to go. You can hear the Del Oro fans applauding as the final seconds will tick off. And that's the end of the ball game between the Del Oro Golden Eagles and the Bella Vista Broncos. Our final score, the Broncos losing this one 77-60.
The Broncos will fall to two and five on the year, and Del Oro improves to three and one on the year. We're gonna, uh, as the players uh, shake hands, just gonna quickly reference my, uh, my scorecard here. I've gotta total up what I have and we'll be able to wrap this one up here in just a second. Another uh, impressive matchup for the Broncos uh, by uh, Simonian. It is, uh, I know that they're very happy to have Damian Rickett back uh, as well. And uh, obviously the season's gonna continue for the Broncos. They are, uh, they're gonna get a bit, bit of a break after four games last week. And of course, when you play in those tournaments, it's, uh, it is uh, consecutive games, uh, three consecutive nights. Next week, uh, next week it is going to be three consecutive nights, but it won't be a tournament. Um, uh, so taking a look at the, uh, some of the final numbers here uh, for this game, Caden Pinnock leads the way for the Del Oro Golden Eagles with 19 points, Reed Greer with 17, 14 points for Jake Williams, that's their uh, top scorers. For the Broncos, 19 from Mikey Simonian, 15 from Damian Rickett, and then uh, 11 points from Mark Trotzik. So uh, last time we were here, we saw uh, Mikey Simonian go off for 40 points. He had 28 points in one of the games in the tournament against West Park last week, and he had 19 tonight. So we, what we talked about last week was how important it was for the, um, uh, for the Broncos to get Mikey Simonian going. And if he can do his thing with Damian Rickett doing his thing, and then Maxwell Prucher, he had a 20-point game uh, uh, in uh, against Miraloma last week. If, if he can get his numbers up, things could start moving forward uh, for Bella Vista. Obviously, they've run into for their last two games, two uh, two games against the same team. This is a very, very physical and very tough and very talented and very experienced Del Oro team. Uh, that uh, has uh, beaten them by uh, 20 plus points. Uh, in fact, it was a lot more than that. It was near it was near 40 points the first time. This time it is a uh, actually a 17 point win. Uh, so uh, so they, they you could uh, you know, obviously this one's a lot closer than it was the other night for the um, uh, for this uh, this particular matchup. Taking a look at. Um, uh, some of the final numbers, again, the shooting from the floor for the Bella Vista Broncos tonight is part of the story. We mentioned that they were 36% uh, shooting uh, at the end of the uh, uh, at the end of the first half. Um, and their second half shooting uh, 40%. So uh, so still uh, the 30 percent they're in the in the high 30s uh, shooting from the floor. Um, much better, it appears, though, for the free throws. Uh, 11 of 12 uh, as a team shooting free throws in the second half. They actually did not have that bad of a night uh, at the free throw line uh, tonight. And then uh, the, um, uh, the Golden Eagles, they were 54% in the uh, uh, first half, pretty close to that in the second half as well. Uh, and, and so they, you know, they had the, the much larger lead at halftime, the lead at halftime, well actually no, the lead at halftime was, uh, was also 17 points. So what that tells you is that the, the, the teams matched each other point for point in the second half, but it was that 17 point advantage at the end of the first half that actually turned out to be the difference in this game for the Golden Eagles of Del Oro. So we will next join you uh, here on YouTube uh, a, week from to a week from tonight when the Broncos take on uh, Del Campo, the Cougars of Del Campo, and then uh, a week from tomorrow night, another home game that we will have you have for you. They will take on the Zebras of Lincoln High School. So, uh, so we have Cougars and Zebras invading Bella Vista High School next week, and then a road game next Thursday against Mesa Verde. That's going to wrap it up for us. Thank you so much for joining us for all the action tonight. Once again, the final score, the uh, 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 Golden Eagles of Del Oro 77 and Bella Vista 60. Thank you for tuning in. We'll talk to you again next Tuesday night at 7.30. I'm George Tharlson. Our thanks to uh, John Warner for Julie Tharlson, Scarlett Thompson. 
Have a great night, everyone, and we'll see you next week.